Hi, my name is Jason Arthur Taylor, and today I'm making a video about the Venus system. And specifically, it's my proposed solution to the Venus problem that plagues a lot of BMWs. But the real motivation for the video is that the data I'm going to be showing right now will get deleted if I don't make the video. And that's just because a lot of it's on something called the Ring system. I have a security camera, and it's proved that what I was telling is the truth because <laughs> immediately after I posted this, I was accused of making stuff up. So this is a post saying what my solution to the problem is. I'll get into the problem in a second. And then people here, are, I guess I should undelete uh, the shill stuff here. Do you understand what a motor flush is? Yeah, so, and then people just saying that you couldn't have possibly really solved this problem by doing what you did. You got lucky and worse things. Of course, I was accused of lying. So this video proves that I'm not lying. This is really what happened. Um, believe it or not, you can fix this very difficult trouble problem by doing some simple things, in my opinion. And that's, well, you know, who's to say who's right, but I'll at least make the video proving that what I did is true. So to start off with, the car I have is an E39 BMW. In my opinion, it's one of the greatest cars ever designed. Uh, really good handling, nice balance, and really good cornering. I love uh, the way the BMW's corner is just exceptional compared to an American car. I think the E39 was probably like maybe the last BMW model line that uh, BMW came out with before the the widow of a co-founder died. And as long as she was still alive, it wasn't too bad. But after she died, I thought that the products after this that BMW came out with were just overloaded with what I call GTF, Guaranteed to Fail technology. And uh, they are now notorious for just breaking down and the resale value just goes way down after 100,000 miles or so. The um, Vena system that this car has is described here. The purpose of it is to adjust the camshaft timing because um, and if you look here, you'll see that they're using motor motor oil as a hydraulic fluid. And that's what these solenoids are doing here. Uh, and that by itself is a good thing because you can either adjust the camshaft timing to work at low RPM or high RPM, uh, but it's hard to do both because um, the parameters are different. Like basically at high RPM, you sort of want one of the um, valves to be open while it should really be closed if you look at a classic auto diagram for an engine. And this is, this is what a car sounds like in idle when it, it's been cammed to work it, to give out the most amount of power at higher. You hear this galloping, it's a galloping rough idle. So it's pretty bad for the environment. It, it, it uh, makes you use a lot of gasoline at idle that you shouldn't have to use because this engine was optimized to work at high RPM. So the Vena system solves this by just at high RPM, it changes the camshaft timing using this hydraulic fluid, but it can have problems. And um, this is someone's video demonstrating a before and after they fix the problem. And so you hear the, IP, the RPM will, will go down. Sort of hard to hear, but that dip of the idle and then later on the surge um, is basically the Vanus problem. And it's worse at colder temperatures, which is sort of the clue for what I decided to do. Um, there's a lot of people who have different ideas about how to repair the, 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 the problem. Nathan here is describing it in his own words. He says it's to some extent a uh, conspiracy theory because they sort of milked it to maximize profit. Really a rant, it's common knowledge. Um, what a nightmare. Does BMW need to keep doing that and putting down everything? No. Will they? Yeah. 
because they think they're going to save the environment or some some bizarre stuff. And what the bottom line is, they're keeping the buyer out of that car for fixing it. The truth about that is they want the money at the dealership for the service. Service carries every dealership. New car sales are a small fraction of what the dealership makes. If you ever notice, when you go in the dealership and it's a multi-million dollar building. So regardless of like their motivations for making it the way it is, um, you can fix it. You can see here some of the parts are very expensive. And Nathan has a video on how to do it here. Um, but this is a lot of, you can tell this is a lot of labor, a lot of parts. This is the 50s kids video. So old, old. And that's the way you're supposed to repair this. You're talking more than $1,000 uh, to do this correctly. So the rest of this video, I'm just going to document, like maybe discuss the theory. Well, let me go. First, I want to show that the, my car really had the problem. And here I just show that it's stalled. So the way the cars are in the driveway, you have to move the Audi out of the way before you can get the BMW. But here I start the BMW and I put it into position and back it up. It's the car on the right. And I'm just going to show that it's stalled. That's the severity of the car. So I can't, use, I can't start up my car. So that was at 10.51 at 11.01, we have this video. that there's the engine is shut off it just shut off on its own that's the symptom that proves that i did have the problem at least and on that day let's see the temperature was uh like 40 degrees and what i said to myself was yeah, when you hire engineers to solve a problem, sometimes they don't think of everything that a physicist might think about. The motor oil has a viscosity that's maybe four times higher than power steering fluid. So there's going to be issues with cold oil using it as a hydraulic fluid. That's what this is, in my opinion. The main, all of the forces involved, everything's going to be harder. So my theory was to solving this problem was number one, use a low viscosity oil for like a zero W40. So at cold temperatures, it has a lower viscosity. And also just for good measure, um, use an engine cleaning product, a oil flush product. What that does is it breaks down the oil so it has very low viscosity and I put this and then do an oil change and see if it fixed the problem. And it did, as I'll show. This is proof that I really did buy, because I was, accused of like not making this up, but this is proof that I did buy 
that oil. I didn't don't have the proof here that I and this on February the third. I I don't have proof that I bought the flush product, but you can see me like I'm not. You can see me. Let's see. Go back here. So here's the third. A few days later, I decided to go ahead and do this. So right now I'm going to add the motor flush product first. And then I'm going to rev the car at high RPM while it's warm, which is totally against the instructions of the engine and flush product. Probably maybe because it's flame oil, that's my theory on that. Three minutes later, I'm after which is again against the instructions, totally against the instructions. I made the uh, Veno solenoids. And then two minutes later, as it says to the 640, and by now I've turned it off. And the rest of this is just an auto charge. Here I am taking off the little uh, filter cap. And Day I posted this, uh, did an experiment to see if the Venus problem was really fixed. And this was my first like objective when the engine was cool. And this is done on the fifth, so let me go ahead and tell you the temperature for that day. It was about freezing, 33 degrees. So let me get back to the video. And, and now, after I start the car, video uh, favorite. Oh, I'm just walking back because I'm going. After I posted the video, or me, sorry, the, the description of all this stuff, I was attacked, of course, which is just standard stuff. But um, I said to myself, well, why don't, why don't I go ahead and test it again and prove that it really is still working? So the next really cool day that came up wasn't until February 18th. And so... This time I actually am like measuring the temperature to prove that I really fixed it. So I go out there. Um, the BMW is on the right. So the main point is the sound because you can hear it. I knew I didn't need to put it in front of the camera. Although I was doing this video just because I was attacked. So I start it. And then I walk away. And then I come back and I show that the temperature is really 20 degrees. I tried it, although you can't see it in the LCD display. But I 
Also says that basically, and, and that was the temperature for that day. Basically, says that this could work, and wasn't making it up. It's telling the truth. But I was hoping more people would like uh, tell me, like what happened with when they tried it. Um, but nobody did so and the, the the videos will get deleted due to the fact that it's on the ring system so there you have it that's the data make up your own mind if you want to try this to fix your venus or spend thousands of dollars it's up to you thank you for watching